شهید میشه I thank the representative of China for his statement and I now invite the representative of Indonesia. Thank you Madam President. Madam President, let me begin by thanking SRSD Janine Hanis Plashat for her very important update. My delegation recognizes that challenges persist on the journey to stability and prosperity in Iraq. But with the determination of all stakeholders and support of the international community, including the United Nations, Iraq is on the right path. I would now like to underscore the, the following points. First, a free, fair, and credible election, along with reform efforts, are non-negotiable. Indonesia welcomes the serious preparations to hold credible elections and the affirmation of that prospect by Prime Minister Khadimi. This must be the collective effort of all stakeholders, including the government, the Independent High Electoral Commission, the judiciary, parliamentarians, and the technical facilitation of UNAMI. We further underline continuation of government's reform agenda in the determination to fulfill the demands and expectations of the people and improve basic services are critical. However, we recognize that COVID-19 is impinging on the government's ability on many fronts and hope that the support of UNAMI will make a difference in the, de- in the days ahead. Second, maintaining stability and security is a prerequisite for sustainable development. We are concerned that ISIL continues to launch violence attacks against civilians in diplomatic premises. It must be clear to all that investment and sustainable development will only flourish in a stable and secure country. Another critical element in the pursuit of a stable and secure Iraq is the support of all countries, regionally and globally. In this regard, Indonesia calls for greater cooperation in countering terrorism in accordance with international law and full respect of Iraqi sovereignty and territorial integrity. Indonesia reaffirms its support of the governments to reform the security sector and to establish stronger ties with its regional and strategic partners. Iraq's spirit of good neighborliness should be reciprocated by its neighbors as another hotspot in the Middle East will benefit no one. My third and last point, Madam President, is the progress towards missing Kuwaiti and national archives should be maintained. We are delighted that despite the COVID-19 challenge for the tripartite mechanism in the performance of its role, progress has been made. And the repatriation of human remains by the government of Iraq to the government of Kuwait on the 16th of September testifies. Indonesia commends the efforts made by the government of Iraq and the continued cooperation between both countries on this file, including those that have been elaborated by SRSD uh, just now. The roles of UNAMI and ICRC are also significant and should be commended. We do hope that the Kuwaiti forensic team can complete the identification of the human remains to bring closure to the families of the missing. We are confident that with the determination of all, greater progress will be achieved. In conclusion, Madam President, the Security Council is united in supporting the people of Iraq and all stakeholders to achieve their long-awaited dream of a stable, secure, and prosperous Iraq. This will bring advantage not only to Iraq, but to the region and the rest of the world. Madam President, Today is Indonesia's last meeting at the Security Council on the situation in Iraq. I therefore take this opportunity to encourage greater efforts and success on this file in the future. 
and I pledge Indonesia's unwavering support of Iraqi unity, sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity, the Iraqi people and government, and UNAMI. I thank you very much, Madam President. I thank the representative.